Josh, when you look at the tremendous technology currently available in multi-rotor systems, uh, otherwise called drones by uh, the great unwashed public at this point, there's some really great stuff out there, but let's face it, the good machines come with a little bit of a price tag. A lot of people are going to be very concerned that they have the skills or, for that matter, understand the operations enough to be able to drop $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 for some of the decent entry-level semi-pro drones and things of that nature. So it seems to me that something along the lines of what I've experienced with real flight in the past, and now you have a dedicated real flight drone sim, can this be used to mollify the concerns people have about plunking down a thousand bucks or more to get the drone of their dreams? Yeah, absolutely. Um, really the best way to think of real flight drone is really an insurance policy. Because even with the great technology that's out there, every single drone out there, there's not one, they do fail from time to time. And one of the biggest things that we find with the drones is while when they work properly, they're super easy to fly and you're really not flying them, you're just pointing it, telling it where to go and it goes there. Well, what happens when you have a problem? What happens when GPS goes out or your altimeters go out? You have something like that or toilet pulling starts. Somebody that's never flown a drone manually before can't really fix that. With RF drone, you can actually practice manually flying as well as getting used to orientations and stuff like that. So you can take your, one, you can be safe with your drone, but you can also utilize all of the features that your drone offers. That's some of the great things that RF drone has. So it's got multiple drones. Also, if you're looking at like aerial photography stuff, if you want to play around with racing drones, you can do that. You can play around with a lot of that. You can play with different sceneries. You can get used to how to control the gimbals. Um, also, if you're not from the radio control world, the radios can be kind of intimidating and getting used to switches and dials and knobs and all that. Really, RF Drone gives you the opportunity to learn it, and you still have that magical red button that Real Flight's offered to restart again, too. People ask me why I get Real Flight Drone. It's the same answer that I give when I talk about Real Flight 7.5, and that is that if you can fly it and prevent a single crash, you've more than paid for Real Flight Drone, and any time after that that you can save yourself from a crash, you pay for it over and over and over and over again. What's it cost? The Real Flight Drone runs right around $129.99. Can you really teach yourself to fly these things and not worry about re-kitting it too quickly? Absolutely. There's no question in my mind. Um, and we know of, especially with the original simulator, we've had a lot of success stories where people fly the simulator and then go out and fly the real thing and are very successful doing so. Um, drone is no, the RF drone is no exception to that. You can absolutely start off in real flight drone, get comfortable with it, and then jump onto the real thing and be much more successful than having not had that practice beforehand. Aero TV is brought to you by... There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.